So we're going on to Dover and Kansas here today. After some pretty solid finishes in Vegas and Martinsville, came away with our uh, second top five of the season. Yeah, out of four races, so that's not too bad. Uh, once again, we're going on to Dover and Kansas this video. Hey, look at the point standings. Hey, we're on the first page. All right, we're up to 10th in points. Brett Moffat, your points leader with one win. Matt Crafton's got a win. Tanner Thorson won Daytona. And Stuart Friesen won in there somewhere as well. Uh, look at the rest of it all the way down to Timothy Peters still in last by a good bit too. Damn. Oh, sweet. We can buy another chassis. It's going to take all of our money. But, uh, yeah, we need another Speedway truck because, oh, man, there's so many Speedway races. So we definitely need a second one here. So uh, we've already got our Speedway truck ready for today. So look at this. We got Dover, Kansas, Charlotte, Texas. That's like four in a row. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and then we've got Iowa, and then we've got some uh, – uh, yeah, the bulk of the schedule is really speedway races. So uh, now that we got two, our next step is to you know further improve our aero and suspension. That way we can get it above 85 uh, in like a two-week process. And we also then need to hire more people and train them as well. So uh, we got one step of that done with a speedway chassis. So yeah, there's that. So here's what we're taking to... Uh, what the hell are we racing? Dover? Yeah, okay. So we've got 90 engine, 85 aero, and 85 suspension. So, uh, yeah, we should do pretty good with that. Time to go here. Let's get it. So we're on to Dover. Uh, once again, another track that we did uh, in the first like round of hot seats. So uh, if I remember correctly, it didn't go so well. We were in Jennifer Joe Corncob's truck, and it, it just did not go well. But uh, I definitely feel a lot more confident this time around. Uh, obviously, we've got better equipment. That wasn't very hard to do, but we got better equipment. And, uh, yeah, so I think I found a little something. You know, what I've kind of found, sort of, is that the truck feels a lot better when you put a rear sway bar in it. Uh, it seems like all the default setups have it set to none. So it definitely feels like you can get more ass end in it, and it just makes it feel like a ton better. Uh, that's kind of what I'm feeling here, so... I'll talk probably a little bit more about it in the race, but yeah. I think that definitely helped me pick up a lot of speed right there. Let's see what we got here. 26. Wow, that was not very good. All right. To be fair, I ran a couple of tenths quicker in qualifying, so or in practice. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Jeez, Corbin, Corbin forced to qualify like seven, man. What a joke. All right, let's get on with it. The jig's 200. I just want to get through this race, man, and get on to uh, get on to Kansas. Dover just sucks, man. This is just not a fun fun time at Dover at any NASCAR Heat 3, NASCAR Heat game whatsoever. But uh, we're going to try to do the best we can here and um, come over with a quality finish. But yeah, it's um, yeah, it's that rear sway bar thing. It's uh, It seems like every time, you know, all the just the normal setups, it's set to none. When you add that rear sway bar, mm, it just gives you a little bit more ass in. Honestly, I probably could have got, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is not good. Oh. I'm glad I I'm glad this is a 25% race instead of 50. That's all I know. <sighs> Once again, we go off into the first corner. What the AI do already? Just stick it, stick the nose barely in there, pong me up the track, and then I got I ponged right up into some dude who just happened to be right on my right rear, and it just sent me right back down the track. Oh, yeah, but we're going to fix ping pong this year. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, once again, this can be a long race. I'm glad it's only on 25%. I'll tell you that. I'm already at the back. It's just like, oh, it's so hard to pass people because nobody goes anywhere. And every, yep, see, and that's what fucking happens. We're going to fix it this year. Thank you. God bless America. Oh, man. <laughs> if I get hit right there in the right rear tire one, one more time and I just get sent left, I'm gonna, I'm just going to flip. I'm just going to rage quit. I, I ain't got the time or patience today. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's just such a NASCAR heat feeling. It's just been there like every year, every game they put out, and it's just still there. And it just like pisses me off more than anything in this game because I just hate it. It's just so stupid. It doesn't make any sense. It just, it just like really doesn't, but uh, it is what it is. We're just going to... Oh man, yeah, it's, it's man, it's kind of weird because what pisses me off even further, and one of the reasons once again why I hate Dover so much is that the AI run around here so like 
ridiculously. Because, like, you see how much I slide up? I mean, I feel like that's pretty normal for Dover. I just can't stick it around the bottom. I, I just really can't. And nobody really sticks just the bottom of Dover quite like that anyways. But the AI do. And that's what makes them so, like, stupid to race against in this series or in any NASCAR heat game because they just stick things. This is one of the, like, worst tracks where they can just stick things compared to how I got to run it pretty much. So that's really the only way I can run fast is throw it off in there and diamond it. So I got to slide up a lot through the center of the corner to do that. And, you know, they play on different rules, so they just kind of cut their way through the center of the corner without sliding up at all, and they're just there. So... Uh, yeah, well, I'm not pitting. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, what, I'm going to gain one spot? Cool. Oh, sweet. Damn it, I'm starting on the outside, too. I should, I should just pit. Oh, man. All right, well. Here we go. <laughs> I can't wait to go to Kansas. Fucked over and fucked the AI, man. Oh, come on, just let me get to the bottom. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to slide up. Oh no, I didn't slide up too bad. I went up to speed yet. There you go. Corn Cobb, dick up the line. Once again, why the fuck is Corn Cobb up here? I bet Jamie Mosley's up there somewhere. Where's Jamie at? Where's Jamie? Do I see a plain ass white truck way the hell up there? No, I don't. I think he's actually behind me for a change. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, four wide at Dover. That's a good idea. Oh, hey. Now, if that was NASCAR Heat 2, that would have been a wreck. They improved it, they just didn't fix it. Oh, man, I hate it, dude. I hate it. They're just there. They're just there every time I. Fuck you. No, oh, man. That's weight shifting. Oh, and there, there it is. The third fucking time. The third time now. There's Jamie Mosley. There he is. Found him. Found him. Fucking stupid, man. I ain't got the patience for this today. I tell you that. I was fast in practice, but I was fast only because I could run my own line. I run my line in this, they just poke their nose in there unrealistically. Why do I even bother? <laughs> Why do I even fucking bother? I to save my breath. We all know how it works here. It's just stupid. And it piss it's just, oh, it just pisses me off because it's still a thing. It just shouldn't be a thing. It shouldn't be a thing in three years worth of video games. It's been the same way. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna make a lot of rivals today, and it, I just don't, I don't care. I don't care. If, if, if the AI are gonna be able to pull some shit off here to run fast here, then I don't give a shit. God bless America. Fucking Christ, I'm so tired. Out of all the times I bounce off of AI, it's right there in that fucking right rear. It sends me. That's the fourth time now. The fourth time. How many times have I bounced it off there on that right side? of the AI car, and I've never got sent, up until it just hit me right on the right rear. That should be the opposite, it should just be sending me the other way. I should be dealing it into the wall every fucking time, but I'm not. It just sends me left on the apron, which pisses me off even more, because the apron's fucking stupid. Fuck! Can we do it a fifth time? Because I can't stick to corner, because we don't have any grip. Oh, man. Thank God, we're almost already done. Two stages. Coming to the last lap of the stage here. I guess I'll just get all I can get. Fuck it. Somebody's really dicking up the whole line up there. I don't know who it is, but he sucks. I don't recognize that car. Understandable. There's last place of points, Timothy Peters. Mm, we ought to be able to get him here. At least it's starting to thin out a little bit. If we can just get a, a nice little green run, I think I'll be, I have enough speed and I can kind of work my way around people, but it's just... Uh, half the time I throw on the outside line, and even if I don't, I slide up going off at a turn one and two, or three and four on the first lap, and I just lose all my spots anyways as they freight train me, but... Yeah, everybody's pitting. I'm gonna pit, uh... I don't know what the fuel run is here. Yeah, I should probably pit. I wanted to take a gamble and stay out, but I think that was probably the smart move there. Why was I the only one to lose spots? Right, the <laughs> it's cause I had damage, right. is that what it was? Nobody else lost any spots. All right, well, at least we started on the bottom this time. That ought to help until I slide up into somebody and I get Pong left. Halfway, and yeah, we still got 26 laps to accomplish. Can we, can it just rain? It doesn't look like it's gonna rain, but can it just rain? Can we get like a, a shower and it just like cancel it because we got to get another series going? All right, corn cop. 
oh, I'm trying not to slide up too much, but God, it just like scurches into the corner every time because the truck drives like a fucking block. I got that rear sway bar in it, and that's helping the ass end turn a little bit. It's not helping the nose turn, I'll tell you that. I, 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 I didn't say you could come in, Justin. Fuck off. Oh, here we go. Slide up into you a little bit. Hey. Glad I didn't get sent left. See, we can rub and race without it just being sent everywhere. Oh, here we go. I slid up once. Yeah, everybody come in and get a free spot. Everybody. Because you can stick the bottom. Fucking. No. I'm not going to lose my shit. I'm not going to lose it. I'm not going to lose it. I'm just going to keep on racing and having a fantastic fun time playing NASCAR Heat 3 video game. Absolutely. Yeah, you want to fucking stick it in. Oh, yeah. Fucking skirts his way right back in the line. That's what hey, I do. Thank you. I'll take my fucking spot back. I like my spot back too, Justin. Fucking damn it. One of these days, I hope they figured out how to make the AI like react the way they're supposed to. Like, I just sent him off into the corner. I punted him. <laughs> I made him gain two spots. What the fuck is that? God, this game is just so ass backwards, man. Fucking damn it. I'd block two, two if I was Jamie Mosley. Fuck ever, man. Just do nothing to him. God. That's just what ruins half of the game for me. Uh, he shouldn't be running the bottom of the damn straightaway anyways, but he does, and it pisses me off. And then I send him in the corner, and he just, like, nothing happens to him because they're blocks. Uh, it's just the whole thing, man. It's just one thing leads to another and just pisses me off. Like further and further. Here we go. Thanks for like moving up this time. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna lose a spot here because I can't stick the. Yep, because we can just stick it. Yep. Yep. I can't turn him either. Fucking God bless America. Oh, here we go. Yeah, get sent left. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't lose any more spots. You weren't aggressive poking it in enough. Whoever the hell you are, Mike Snyder. Scurching all the way up the fucking track. Yeah, there's another spot. Oh, man, I hate Dover. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate everything about it. And every... Oh, every AI car. I hate it. I hate it. This is just fucking horse shit. This is just horse shit. Not only should Jennifer Joe Corncob not be quicker than me, but she just sticks the bottom. Because she's obviously got that top-notch arrow. And handling and everything else. And she just zips around the bottom. No fucking pro. Oh, man. I just want to quit. I just want to quit. I don't even want to run this. It's just fucking stupid. Everything about it is just fucking stupid. I've, <laughs> I've about had enough. I've about had enough. I don't think I've seen one thing that has made sense this entire race. Not one thing. Oh my god, it's just, it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. Just how bad everything is here. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it needs to be said. It needs to be said. I don't need the game to be eye racing, man. I don't need it to be that. But I just want the AI cars to, like, respond or do something realistic. Where's that, like, meme? Like, the... With the with the like stick figure guy like poking a stick at something like hey NASCAR Heat 3A AI, AI hey do something poke with stick it's just like unbelievable how bad they are and how they're just such blocks like I just mowed multiple people down going off in the center of the corner and it's just like like I'm not even there I mean this is literally more of a crazy cab simulator than a than a than a NASCAR video game. I'd rather, I'd have a more fun time in, in Crazy Cab, swapping lane to lane, you know, trying to get past people, than this shit. That's all this really is, except it's NASCAR drivers. You're not racing anybody. And no, none of the AI cars are racing any of themselves. They're just programmed to run in their two lines and do the best they can. And that's it. It's like fucking Crazy Cab. You just swap from lane to lane and good luck getting around them. Oh, I hopefully I have a better time at Kansas. This is Do Dover always brings the worst out of me. I'm sorry, it just does.
I'm fucking pitting, man. I just, I just had enough of it. I need tires. I need some Jesus. I need, I need some help. I need some. I need a. Oh, never mind. They're crashing. Hold on. Stay out. Stay out. Stay out. Caution. 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 He's going right underneath the flag stand. Caution. Caution. Blown tire. Nope. Fine. Let's pit now. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Is it speeding? Yeah, they black flagged us. Yeah, I bet they did. Yeah, I bet they did. I probably would have had a better time slowing down, but I don't know if Jamie Mosley was going to fucking stop or if he was going to slow down or not, so I had to make sure I was way up the groove to make sure he got through. Yeah. No, that's cool. I'm glad, I'm glad Jamie Mosley didn't have to slow up for a pitting car. I'm glad he could just mosey on and, you know, run his own race. I'm good for him. Hopefully everything works out for him here. Why isn't there a sim option yet? Why isn't there a sim? Why isn't there just like a quit race button? Why isn't there just a get the fuck out and let a pit crew guy drive? Why isn't that an option yet? This is stupid. This is just, this is just stupid. Did my pit crew guy just vanish? I wouldn't be surprised. <sighs> well, I'm a lap down. So at least if we get a caution, we could always... Ah, oh, who am I kidding? Never mind. Let's just finish this race. At least, you know, the rest of the tracks are pretty much tolerable. I will I will tell you this, though. This is the one track where I just don't have fun at. I 100% do not have fun. There's no fun to be had here at Dover. It's just not fun. The only time you could maybe have fun is is if maybe your car is just faster than everybody. Maybe then. But since there are other trucks that are faster than I am, it's not fun. Because they can just do different things, and they don't have to play by the same rules. So they can just zip around the bottom. And it's just not fun. So it's not fun. It's not a fun racing experience. Because the AI are just rigged. You can call it that if you want. I think it, it works for the most part. But I think it's pretty obvious that I just can't do some of the things that the AI do. Look at this, they just stick the bottom coming off the corner. Like if that was me, I'd be way up here. I'd be using all uh, all my uh, my momentum, that's how it works. In real life race cars, especially at Dover, you're hauling a lot of speed and just a lot of things are coming. A lot of things are happening coming out of that corner. But the AI just zip around the bottom like it's nothing. That's just coming out of turn four. Yep, see how I slide up? But they, they also carry speed doing that. Now, I could run down there, too. But that's how you carry speed down the straightaway, all the way off the corner. You can't... I mean, I could kind of do it, but, like, I'm damn near scorching the tires and scrubbing more speed doing that. That's, again, it's just not, it's not fun. It's not fun to me. It's not fun when they make it more of a challenge when it's an unrealistic challenge. It's an unrealistic challenge, so it's not fun. I'm not... It doesn't... It doesn't make, like... It doesn't feel like I'm racing anybody. Enough of the rant, though. I don't know. I just can't help it. I can't even, like, not rant. There's just so much I have a problem with. And once again, like, it doesn't need to be super realistic. All I need is the AI just to run, like... Gee, I'm in the first car lap down. Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense to me why they can't just get the AI to, like, run up to the walls. If they'd do that, they'd fix half of the AI problems. Half of them. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. But, uh... Eh, some guys are pitting. Noah Gregson pitting out of the lead. Smart call there, champ. I mean, I'm pitting. It's only I'm going to get my lap back anyways. Yes, car overtime. So he can get as high as 24th. I think Jordan Anderson's the first truck a lap down, so... Um... I'll try. But I'm, I know I'm probably just going to get ponged out of the way. Ooh, hey, I got to the bottom. That's cool. All right. And if, oh, wow, we're stacking. If we could get another caution. Well, I still probably wouldn't even get my lap back, so. Yeah, never mind. Let's, let's just get this race over with. I'm going to try to get all I can get, and then we'll, uh, we'll go on to Kansas. Mm -hmm. There we go. Well, at least we're not going to finish last. 26th. I would choose on the lead lap. So I can still get corn cob. <laughs> God, if I hit her back end and I lose the rear end one more time, that's that's another thing that pisses me off. That doesn't make any sense, man. 
Anybody should be getting out of shape. This is corn cob if I'm hitting her ass in the middle of the damn corner. That's okay. Thank God this race is fucking over with. I gave up a spot doing that. I gave up like two spots doing that. That's my eye racing put it out of its misery. It's fuck it, man. Let's go on to the next one. Jesus. Who won? Brett Moffat. Good, good for him. At least it wasn't somebody stupid. All right. Who's pissed off? Hey, that was a tough race. Hang in there, and you'll get him next time. Thanks, Ben. Did I really need that? Did I really need that? You want to be a rival? Yeah, I do. What the fuck? I didn't see Ben Rhodes once that race. Yeah, let's be a rival, fucking dickhead. Tower may be tough, but that's not an excuse for how you drove. I don't, I don't want to fucking hear it, mister. I play on different rules and stick it around the bottom. No, fuck you. Fuck each and every one of you. This isn't bumper cars. This is right. This is fucking bullshit. That's what it is. Oh, here's fucking no picture boy. I'm Jamie Mosley. Nobody knows who the fuck I am. I ran one truck race in like 10 years, and I got in the game and doesn't have a picture. Fuck you. Fuck each and every one of you. Well, I kind of dicked it up. Uh, so we're only gonna have 85 engines for this race. 85 across the board again, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, then again, I guess I didn't, because I didn't have a super, uh, I didn't have a second Speedway truck, right? So, yeah, that's where it's kind of tough. So, at least now we should have, uh, 90, 90 engine again, uh, for the next Speedway race after this. And I think we have another one. Uh, two more, maybe? I don't know. We've got a lot of speedway races, once again. That's why we bought another chassis. Um, so, once again, hopefully after this race, we should have enough money to, you know, basically train somebody or or uh, improve our equipment again. So, 85 across the board. <laughs> this should be a bit more fun. All righty, here we go. What is this? 37 kind? I don't know what the hell that said. Brad Moffitt, back on pole to try hard. <laughs> Gave up qualifying positions for new tires. Really, bold strategy. See how that plays out. There you go. Somebody blew up in practice. I don't know who it was, but it didn't say anything about that. All right, here we go. So uh, yeah, I selected the hardest incentive contract, and I was finished get you know, three top 15s in the next like four or five races. So I feel like I can do it. I mean, it's looking pretty good here. This is a nice little start. We're gonna lose it all right here in the next in the corner, but. Uh, increase the cambers. Uh, damn near maxed out the front cambers. Uh, trying to get some more front oomph in it. It's kind of weird though when I make camber adjustments. It makes like it. It feels like it makes the rear turn instead of the like more like nose. Which, once again, it's one of those kind of sounds that like it always kind of puzzles me. Because once again, you crank the cambers as well. You're gonna be burning. You're gonna be burning tires, uh, especially that right front. But. I don't know, we burn the right front no matter what every every week, so it's okay. It seems to be uh it definitely does seem to be turning a little bit more. So that's good, that's what we want. We if, that's the thing that we can't ever get that smooth turn. You know what I mean? We can't ever just get it to cut through the corner. Like every time I, I get it to sort of turn through the corner a little bit, it's still like scurching and it's still like it's just not easy. <laughs> it's not uh it's not very pleasant, I guess. I don't know. Might Snyder, can you run something other than the bottom line? That way I can go around you because you're just slow. God, I don't know what the hell that was. Travis Quample, you're dicking everybody else up too. There you go. I mean, if you're going to leave it open, I'll take it. Thanks. See how I slide up like an actual like race card? Yeah. Yeah, you should try it sometime. It would make this whole situation a lot more fun. There you go. All right. Hey, hey. P17. Sweet. And it was actually kind of easy to make passes without losing any spots and without sliding up into anybody. Woohoo, not Dover. Oh, look at this. You gonna pass me down here, you little bitch? Whatever, man. Oh, I just, uh, I think I complain too much. I don't want all my videos to just be complaining, but it's hard not to when you play NASCAR Heat 3. It really is. Like, why can't you just pass me some way, somehow, somewhere else? Why? Why does this always have to be pinned to the white line? Good. Fuck you, dude. I'm just like tired of just seeing you do that. I just, yeah, good, good, wreck. Thank you, fuck. I just, ugh, I want somebody to just eat shit for once. I just, I, oh man, I feel a lot better now. I just like tired of that. I'm just like running my own line. I just see this car like right, left, 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 right. And then they just like throw it off in the corner and they just, ooh, like step on the brakes really quick. They just keep on just like 
so anxious, man. I keep on just trying to poke, 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 poke every fucking corner, every inch, every, just the entire lap, man. Why, if you're so much quicker, just move around and go around the high side, dude. I just, like, oh, man. Well, I stayed out. I don't know if it was a good idea. It probably wasn't, but to hell with it. <laughs> there we go. We should be able to, I mean, we ought to be all right to make it to the end of the stage, so. Here we go, short way around. A short way around never really seems to matter all too much, but hey, it's working here. One good one. Oh, hell yeah, that was a nice little start. And I would assume everybody's probably going to pit here at the end of the stage anyways, so I think that was a good call. I think this will definitely help us not lose as many spots. Yeah, just wish we had some more speeds. <laughs> yeah, we just hit that mark and it's just rough. Oh, man. Come on, man. It wasn't turning that bad before or before the caution. Whatever. Excuse me, Robbie. Can I get this spot? Oh. No. No. Okay. Well. It could be worse. Yeah, everybody's pitting now. So I guess, yeah, those guys are just pit. They're going to stay out. So, like, Gordon Cobb is going to be up in there. Oh, no. And I lost 12 spots. I guess my one second of damage was why I lost 12 spots. That's probably what it was. Right? It literally said I had plus one second of damage. That had to have been what it was. I'm just coming from the back. J-O-K-E. Where's Kurt Busch when you need him? Give me, give me like a 10 minute break, man. Give me my caution. If we're not getting a caution, I'm getting a fucking caution. I was 360 and I'm stopped on the fucking track. I swear to God, now I'm gonna stop here right in the fucking racing groove until I get a caution. I'm not, I'm, thank you. Thank you. Fucking God bless the fucking America, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Ping pong, ping pong! Jesus Christ almighty. Next time I ping pong somewhere and just bounce all around across the track, I'm gonna wake up the entire area. Maryland, Pennsylvania, Delaware, West Virginia, Virginia. If you are if you live in those surrounding areas on October the 1st around three o'clock in the afternoon, you might have heard somebody say ping pong at the top of their lungs. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. This <laughs> this is a really bad time. I just had to start off with Dover, man. It's just like everything. Oh man, it's just like Dover just ruins and just gets me triggered. It gets me triggered. Like this game at the end of the day really doesn't make me that mad, but it makes me pretty mad. Like pretty mad. Not to the point where I'm losing any sleep over it, but. Oh, man, it's just it bothers me because I've done the same shit for three years. That's why it bothers me so much this year And I've said it many times Heat Evolution a very very rushed video game. That's okay. And, you know, it was it was whatever We got through it. Heat 2 You know it made some Well, it made some improvements Heat 3 This is where I felt like it was gonna be the best year and I really was ready for that like you know, for that refreshing new feel. We didn't get that. Not to me. Honestly, I don't feel like the gameplay was improved much at all. It depends on what you consider as gameplay, but I still ping pong. I don't ping pong as much, but it, that's not the point. If I'm still ponging, like, I, I, and in some instances, sure, I should absolutely, like, kind of lose control, but it's like, sometimes there's like, you don't even get a chance to save it, the way you just get shot around and, and just, like pinballed it's just stupid and it feels stupid the biggest problem is the way the AI just do things in this game the way they're still just programmed just to pin their one their one or two lanes and you see it's like they just try so hard to stay in those two lanes and the way they just unnaturally stick corners and stuff like that so like things that once again that are in heat 2 and heat 3 or heat evolution and they're still here. It's just, it's really upsetting because I knew I was going to play this game a lot. Once again, as a career mode series, and I just still have to put up with the same shit. And now I'm just really fucking slow, apparently. <sighs> Fuck you, Travis Carville. See what I do when I push him out of those two lanes he's programmed to be in? 
Oh shit, I gotta stop, I gotta stop, I gotta get back in my lane. Oh no. Uh, I'm not sure why all of a sudden I'm slow. I'm pretty sure I fixed my damage, right? Do I even have any damage? I can hit the right damn button. I don't have any damage. My right front's 80% though. Did I not take tires or something? I don't even know. I don't even know what I've done. I don't even care. Nice driving, that stage driver. Nice. What a fucking dickhead. Finished 31st. Nice, nice driving there. Nice, yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna pit. Everybody else is pitting. Harrison Burton's the leader. Jamie Mosley's fourth. Jamie. Okay. Here we go. 31st. And, uh, we're at this whole third stage here. And, uh, we're gonna try. We'll see if these fresh tires actually mean something. It seems like they mean something on the restart, so that's nice. Here we go. All right. Well, at least we'll get some free spots out of this. Uh, okay, and there we go. We're gonna lose the rest of it. Just about. Oh, man, I just... Oh, there it is. A shot left. There you go. Yeah, slam on them brakes. Oh, well, at least I didn't lose all my spots. Fucking no. The fuck you? I'm next to you. I'm damn near on the fucking apron. Get the fuck out of the way. Move over. Fuck. Next. No, I'm fucking taking Jennifer Joe Corncob next time. I clearly get underneath. Just the awareness of a fucking hammer. Oh my god, man. I. Don't be surprised, man, if I just cut my NASCAR Heat 3 or remote short. I'm gonna go play a different game, man, because this game, that's... I'm, I'm not having fun with it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not really having fun with it. I'm just tired of the same old fucking shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. And the horse you rode in on. Fuck you. You shouldn't be faster than me anyways. Half of these motherfuckers shouldn't be faster than me anyways. I've seen Jennifer Joe Corncob race. She don't know how to miss a wreck at Daytona. Let alone be faster than anybody else on the fucking track. And that goes for that dipshit in the fucking one truck. And that goes for half of these other suckers who've only raced like five races. And just so happen to get a, a, a NASCAR Heat 3 spot. Because they couldn't fill the whole field. But they all just have more straightaway speed than I. And they can all just stick the corners better than me. It's fucking stupid. It's just it's everything about it. It's just fucking stupid. Foot to the floor. Past three, la three laps. And Jennifer Joe Corncob has already caught back. Unbelievable. Un unbelievable. 85 engine. I guess Jennifer Joe Corncob, she must have 90 engine. That's what, that must be what it is. She must have that 90 engine. Try to stick your nose in where it belong one more time. Sorry, I'm racing like a, like a, like a, like I'm driving an actual real life truck or real life race car and I'm apexing it into the corner. I know you don't have to play by those fucking rules, but. Fuck, I'm so fucking sick of it. Just fucking, just fuck off, man. Yeah, I, no, I, I drive it right by me, too. After I just fucking... How many laps have we got to go? 12? Yeah, let's get the fuck on with this. Right side torn up. That right rear and right front are both sticking outside of the right the right side. I don't know why I'm taking it out on Jennifer Joe Corncob, but I'm just pissed. I need my fucking coffee. I need coffee bad. Where's Phil Swift when you need him? It's Saturday morning. I really need coffee. I need coffee bad. All right, don't mess with me. I'm kind of pissed. That's what. Once again, I shouldn't have started off with. I should just skipped Dover. I would have been in such a such a happier mood. Cause so I could tolerate this game almost outside of Dover. But now, ever since I played Dover, and I, once again, those those realizations of how bad the game actually are just came crept back into my brain because I ran Dover. Because they just. They just highlight how bad of a game it really is at Dover. In all three series. And then I went on to run Kansas and it was just ruined for me. So I gotta take another day's off of this and not record for another day or so. Just just to suppress all the, everything. And just come back fresh. That's how I that's how I play so much NASCAR E3. How I make the career mode so long, or how I how I get to the cup series. I just gotta play as little as possible just to just to forget all the little issues with it. Hey, somebody's wrecking. Cool. Probably still not going to be a spot. He'll still come out quicker than I am. He's pitting. Yeah, I think I'm going to pit too. 
because I'm just so much slower than everybody. That's all right. What else can I do? Let's just drop the wedge all the way so I'm wrecking loose. Maybe that'll make me fast, huh? Let's let's try that. Let's try that. I'm holding it wide open and I'm just smoking the right front almost through every corner. Just you can hear it scurching through every corner. <sighs> do they not? Do they not hold it wide open in real life all the way around? With how slow the trucks are. I mean, this track is a is a pretty fresh repave. You can't run the high side. So, but I mean, I would assume I should be able to hold it wide open. I don't know. I'm gonna try it again. Outside, outside. Yeah, it's definitely looser. I can already feel it. I'm not quicker though. I can tell that. I can tell you that. Not yet, at least. Oh, there's all my momentum. Anybody else want to send me? Two to go. Bailey Curry. I'm here. It's okay. I'll take you with me. Nah, because you're probably going to save it, aren't you? Oh, no, the fuck you aren't. <laughs> Fucking scrub. Mmm. Are they still out there? Look, look who's still out here. Timothy Peters still running higher than I am. Mowed the wall down due to a blown tire or whatever whatever that is where they just start smoking and bounce it off the wall. That's cool. I thought he might at least maybe go a lap down fixing the damage, but no. Not only. He's out there and just running quicker than I am. Yeah, man, here we go again. Yeah. Just such that just cute little tap to the right rear. Just sends me right down across in front of everybody. Don't even get a chance to save it. That's the way the game is. Ah, <sighs> man. Well, at least it looks like we're not gonna finish last and something, unless something stupid happens here. I can't get over how, how just like they, they make that work, how flat they are in the corner. For a second there, I thought she might just end up underneath of me. He never really know, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. How just like, mm. Mm, mm, mm. She even saved it after the line too, nice. Channel for Joe Corn Cobbs. This game's a. <laughs> Look at the finishing results. No Graxon won. Good for him. Gilbert Forrester finished fourth. He's a Brock Corn Cobb back here with me. She finished pretty close to where she should have finished. So I'll leave you with this. Among you know among all the other issues I have with the game, what I still finished like 27, 28th. I finished towards the back, but I still gained a good chunk of money. And I'm still going to be able to either hire somebody new or upgrade uh, one of our improve our equipment, one of the two. Finishes should still mean something. I finished bad, mostly because I got pissed off and I just said the hell and started wrecking people and started side swiping people and whatever. But that should still mean that I don't make a lot of money and then I tore up my equipment, but none of that is really a thing. My equipment still goes back to 70, and I still gain a pretty solid amount of money. I guess it would probably be even worse if we had the same gameplay and had it more towards NASCAR Thunder where you, know, you had to pay your crew month, uh, weekly, and you know that would probably be one of those races where I pretty much lose money, probably. But yeah, that'd probably be even worse if the gameplay was like that and it, and it had the, the NASCAR Thunder level of... Uh, of just the team and, and owning aspect of it because I'd definitely be losing a lot of money week to week. Because unlike NASCAR Heat 3, the gameplay in NASCAR Thunder 2004 is pretty solid. You can wreck people when you want to wreck them. People actually DNF. You can DNF in that game as well. And you can usually pass people. Some of the AI cars, you, most of the time, usually get out of the way when you're next to them or, or at least give you enough room to pass them cleanly. Stuff like that. But that's what I'll leave you with. A frustrating two races, but we go into Charlotte, and I think we go into Texas as well. So, uh, either way, my apologies. I, I I hate those videos where I just kind of complain and, and are pissed off the the whole time. I know most of you will probably find it funny anyways, but <laughs> yeah, it's just tough, man. It's just tough. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we see some gameplay patches down the road. I'm not very confident that we will, but you never know. I'd love to see this game, the gameplay, continually improved. But if it can't be, then, you know, I hope to God they're already working on NASCAR Heat 4, figuring out how not to ping pong.